In this lesson, I will introduce you to quantity takeoff and cost estimation in ACCAD. We'll go ahead and extract wall quantities from a uh, ACCAD interactive schedules and then save that as an Excel file. And from there, we'll be able to edit that Excel file, apply some formulas and some uh, external data from uh, apply some formulas and come up with the cost of constructing that wall. So we start by going to document. So go to document and then under document we have uh, schedules here. Then click on wall schedule. So you will see uh, this view that has been opened. So this is the schedule which gives a list of all the walls that we have uh, we have in our project are listed here in uh, and the table here gives us uh, the element id the 2d plan view the wall type the height thickness area net volume perimeter classification among other parameters that have been captured so for this you can be able to customize the pen sets for this uh, text the text styles for the schedule also and you still can also be able to customize how these cell borders are going to appear so let's check this area where we have these settings and we look at row heights and they are given six millimeters as the size for that text. So we have the text style and we can be able to choose from a list that we have here. So let's say I want to have this as the text. I'll change that. Then let's let the size be two millimeters. And here for the pen sets, I will choose to have a pen number one selected. So that's okay with that. We have options for having the text as bold, italic, underline, or strike through. And um, border settings, this is where we can be able to customize uh, the appearance of these uh, rows and, and, and column borders. Here we have chosen this option, or rather it's, the option is set as solid line, and the pen set here, we have pen number 61. We can still be able to change that to any of the pen sets that we that we think are the best for our project so with that still with that we have uh, done some a few settings so if you look at if you look at the schedule now you see that we have a different appearance compared to the very first one that we had so use this to navigate to the end and you will see a lot of uh, parameters that have not been defined when we were creating our project and we want to use this data to come up with a cost estimate so if you are coming up with a cost e estimate for building a wall uh, based on uh, the standard method of measurement for eastern africa uh, you will need you will need to have the thickness of that wall you will need to understand or rather to be to establish the type of construction material that we are using to construct that wall you will need to know uh, the center line length of those walls and deduct the areas of the openings so that when you get net area for that wall you will apply a cost per square meter and you will get uh, the contractors rate for constructing that wall so what we'll do here we will go to scheme settings We'll go to scheme settings here, click on that. Then you will see here under fields for the wall schedule. These are the, are the items that you have. These are the items that had been displayed in the table or rather in the schedule that I was showing you. So we have things like cost per volume, the number of bricks, the type. So I will, I will remove uh, these fields that I am not using. So just click on remove up to the point where you have a uh, fire resistance. Then click on OK and see we'll we'll uh, have we'll have that schedule update as that. Still, data, there there is a lot of information that we don't need, so get back to the scheme settings and remove this also. Fire resistance, fire resistance. You remove that. Remove the position and remove uh, the construction type. Click OK. So that's our schedule. So we still can uh, do away with uh, things like I think this area, the net volume and the perimeter. We'll still get back to scheme settings and before that we need to add some uh, fields so here where yeah, you can see this uh, button add fields click on it then type here wall and navigate down here where we have uh, the length of the wall using the center line method so we have um, we have wall and this is conditional length let's look for length 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 of wall at the center so this is it we have length of of wall at the center this is going to give us the center line length of that wall so click on add 
Then now, under these fields, we have agreed to remove floor plan perimeter and net volume like that. And then click on OK. Let's see what happens. So right now we have the element ID, the 2D plan view. We have the wall type, height of that wall, the thickness of that wall. We have an area here that we don't need. So get back to scheme settings and remove that area. Click on OK. And that is what you will see. So this is the schedule that we are going to use. And... I will export this by going to file, save as, then I will choose to save that as an Excel file. So when that is opened, and I've saved as type, select Excel workbook, and then click on this button to, to open the file after save, then click save. Excel is opening the schedule that we have saved. And when that is opened, you notice that we have a small font and we are not able to see things clearly. So what we do is control A on your, on your keyboard to select all and uh, change this font size to 11 and then enter. And with that, you realize that we are able now to see properly on the screen. But with that still, I want to adjust this and adjust this also. And we have a thickness, then center contents of that so with with the with the wall height the thickness and the length of the center we can create a column here where we will uh, calculate the area of the wall using the length of the center multiplied by the height then we'll create create another column here which is going to have cost per square meter based on the thicknesses of these walls then we'll have another column here which will have the amount uh, which will be the total cost for that so let's say Let's see, we select this and then drag copies up to that point because we want to only use this. So select them, right click and choose clear content. Then we'll have this as area in uh, square meters. And the next is going to be cost per square meter. We'll give this in uh, shillings. And the last one is going to be the amount, which is also going to be in shillings. So for the area, we're going to have length multiplied by height. Now this height is supposed to be in meters, but the values are, the values are being uh, displayed in millimeters. So what we'll do, we'll uh, get we'll have an equal sign here. It's going to be this length, and then multiplied by, multiplied by have an opening bracket we'll have this value divided by 1000 so that this this in millimeters divided by 1000 is going to be the value for this in meters and then you have enter it's going to give us the area now we'll uh, move the cursor to this point click and drag this so that this formula at this uh, cell is going to be replicated in all uh, all these other cells and that is going to give us the areas that we want so that's done like that the cost per square meter of a wall here is 2,200 uh, shillings. So we update that as that. Then we copy to all cells. Why am I copying to all cells? Is because we have the same thickness for all walls that are represented here. Then the amount, the, the column that has the amount, the value for that is going to be given by the cost per square meter multiplied by the area. So it's going to be equal this cell multiplied by this cell and from there we'll copy all these formulas up to the very last one so we have for every wall for every element id we have this cost it is given here so if we want to get the total cost for that we will have this we'll have total here then we'll have this summed so click on auto sum then enter and that is going to be our cost. So the cost here is, the total is 8, 856,658 shillings. So if you look at our schedule, we have only the height, the thickness, and the length at the center of that wall, which is giving us the area. So this area means that we have not deducted the area of the openings so that this cost that we have here also includes the walling that was supposed to be part of those openings. So for us to get an area that is net, net is to say that we have deducted the area of the openings, that is the doors and the windows. We Let's let's get back to Archicad, then I will show you how to extract that area. So close this, save. I'll be sharing, I'll be sharing that Excel file in the resources section. 
so you can uh, download that and make references to it so back to our schedule in excel you notice we have the length of the wall at the center but in this case i want us to get the net length the net area so that instead of applying the length and the height we have net area extracted from from a uh, archicad and what archicad is going to do is it's going to calculate the area of the walls and then deduct the area that is uh, covered by the opening so let's get back to scheme settings then then add fields and type wall and we'll uh, navigate downwards where we see wall and we have a surface area and it's going to be uh, add fields we have wall so let's look for the the surface area of the wall so here we have um, here we have net surface area of the edges we have net surface area on the inside face and we have net surface area on the outside face so i'm going to use the outside face so click on that and then add you will see that added to the wall schedule here and then we'll deduct length of the wall at the center so click on it to select it then remove and save that as okay so when that updates you will see we have net surface area on the outside face so when we get to excel we'll only be required to add add a column for the cost per, per, per square meter and then we'll have an amount so let's save this to excel by going to file save as then we'll save it as directive wall schedule 02 save as type excel workbook click to open after save then click save so when that opens select all by control a on the keyboard change this font to 11 enter uh, adjust this by double clicking so with that we'll uh, select this copy them then we'll delete the contents clear contents so this heading is going to be cost per square meter this is going to be amount so our cost per square meter was 2200 then we'll copy that up to the last cell and the amount is going to be this cost per square meter multiplied by the net area of uh, the walls and then we'll copy this formula to these other cells and from there we'll create this so that down here we have the totals and click on this cell and use auto sum which is going to give us uh, the summation of all those values and enter and you are going to get uh, six, 600,000 as the total cost now for constructing this wall that is to say we'll be building the structure only without including the wall so the area that is that is part or rather the area of the doors and the area of the windows has been deducted from the area of this wall so that's how to extract wall quantities using interactive wall schedules from excel from from archicad and then uh, doing some editings and customizations to come up with the cost of constructing the wall thank you for paying attention i'll be sharing these excel schedules in the resources section for your reference